are back with an art class today, taking a little break from the paranormal, from the missing people and from the scary stories. And today we're just gonna relax and we're gonna do ourselves up a hat for summertime. And you can do whatever design you wanna do on, on your hat if you decide to follow along with the class. Uh, today, because we're coming into summer, or well, we're in summer now in Australia, I wanted to do like a fun sort of a tropical beachy sort of a hat for myself. You can do these, any design that you like, you can do them for yourself. You can do them for a gift for Christmas. So for today's class, of course, you're gonna need a hat. You are going to need sneaker protectant. And you're gonna need that if you follow along with my class on the Stranger Things shoes. This is a must to spray on your shoes or your hats after you finish with your design. It's amazing, it stops any of the paint or the pens that we use rubbing off. So you'll need this for your hat as well as your sneakers. And this is really great stuff because it broadens the scope of materials that we can use, we can actually use Ordinary acrylic paint, we don't have to use fabric paint if we spray our shoes and our hats with this afterwards. So you're gonna need sneaker protectant. In Australia, I just picked this one up at Woolworths. I would say you would be able to pick something up similar uh, in the States or the UK at places like Boots or Dollar General. Any of those, I would say I would have this all your local um, supermarket so you're going to need some of this you're going to need of course your brushes selection of brushes old and new for me so i get brushes that are my favorite you're going to need some water to rinse with you are going to need a bag to wipe your brushes on and you are going to need some paint. If you follow along with this class, I'm using pink, orange, violet red, phthalo blue, some coral, some yellow and some red and there will be the use of black fabric pens as well but we'll get to that later. So you're going to need those. And you're going to need our fabric pens that we picked up before. You can use these on your sneakers and your hats. Don't use it if you're gonna be painting a t-shirt, however, because these are not fabric paints, but you can use these um, on hats and shoes. And I'm um, on that fabric pens, of course. So I'll insert a little picture of the design I made up on a vector app myself for today right here and let's just hop on into it so oh the other thing you're going to need also very important is a large scrunched up plastic shopping bag i find is the best or some newspaper so when you get a new hat um, this one's actually a ponytail hat but it comes with this little insert of cardboard right here can you guys see the cardboard cardboard there so leave that in the hat because it will help to protect it from the paint bleeding through so then you're going to want to get your plastic bag and put it inside and it'll help it hold its shape and it'll stop any paint going where we don't want it and it's just going to make it a lot easier for us to paint so we're just going to hop right on in and start with this area here um if you're worried, you can mask the bill a little bit with a piece of masking tape or painter's tape. I'm not going to worry about that today because I'm kind of used to painting things like this and I don't kind of get a lot of bleeding with it. So let's just start. Okay, so we're going to start with the sort of blue in the background there on that side. So we're gonna mix up a little bit of the phthalo blue. So I'm just mixing up a lighter colored blue with some white 
and the phthalo blue. I want it a little bit lighter than it's coming out. How's everybody been? How's everybody going leading up to Christmas? We have two weeks. I'm nowhere near ready, but I always pull it together at the last minute. Okay, so we're going to start with this sort of a mid sort of a blue. Okay, I'll show you that there. That's sort of the colour that you want. And we're just going to start off this where I'm not going to get myself into trouble because I'm getting myself into trouble all the time. Okay, so we've got a little bit of blue on well, the photo is in this corner. I'm just going to sort of pop that in there. And it sort of goes over onto that bit. And don't worry about seams and things. You can just paint right on over them. You can just sort of dot your paint to get it in the middle there. Right. It's not a lot of blue, so pop that. sort of mix that so we've got a little bit of light blue. What we want to do is just pull some white across that like that. You sort of get that nice grade out with that. And a little bit like clouds there without having a harsh line. So we just sort of mix that in rather than just trying to mix another lot of blue away from the hat. So usually with a sunset or a sunrise, you do get a little bit of blue sky showing through. So that's what this little part here is. Got a little bit more white over here. Okay. We're gonna rinse off and we're gonna go in with our red violet. And I'm going to mix just a little bit of this pink with it, just to soften the colour a bit. So this section here will represent the top sort of portion of the sky. And you can just mix in a little bit. Oh, I've got to show you guys. So yeah, I've kind of mixed it up, just put the pink with the, the violet. But if you've been watching me mix colours and things for a while, you'll understand pretty much what I'm doing anyway. That's our brilliant Magenta by Yo Sonia's. Okay. Now we're going to go in with a little bit more white just to lighten a few areas. I'll probably end up zooming in on this so you guys can see it a bit better anyway so as you can see with the um plastic bag inserted it keeps the hat in a really nice shape so you don't have any trouble sort of adding your paint to it and it's just sort of sits there just nice i was sort of thinking about getting one of those um styrofoam mannequin heads but then I thought yeah it probably would be hard to stop that moving around because it would be sitting on its neck and you want to just sort of have it so you can hold the bill and just paint your design on so that's why I ended up just with what I I came up with with the um bag or newspaper and um, yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier and it makes it cheaper as well. You don't have to go out and buy one of those mannequin head things. I'll lighten her up a little bit. Brighten her up with a little bit of the magenta. I'm gonna need some straight magenta on this part. And usually I'd be 
waiting for um, for things to dry and such. Now we're at to the peak there where that cute little button is. I think I'm just going to make it those um, pinky colours because <laughs> I just think it would look cute. So let's do that. Hmm, very nice. And for a little contrast and shading. Put in there. Okay, so you're getting a little bit of an idea of what I'm doing here. So I'm going to start um, just going into um, our videos, how we usually do them with um, the music. And I will jump in and out when, um, hmm, actually we probably should be painting this bit here. So let's do that. I just realised. Um, I'm going to be jumping in and out and explaining what I'm doing if I think um, I need to tell you guys anything. But other than that, uh, I think we'll just relax. You can grab a snack if you're not following along with the painting today. Um, just grab a snack or a drink and just sit back and I'll put on some cool tunes and we can just paint and um, enjoy this nice opportunity to be in one spot and be home for a change.
So here is our background painted onto our hat. And we're gonna leave this to dry, which is not gonna take long in this weather. And when we come back, we're gonna actually start filling in a few little clouds and just make them a bit more defined. So I'm gonna let this completely dry and then I'll be back. And when we're filling in clouds and things, we can sort of fill in these little bits here that the paint hasn't quite gone into it, as you can see. So we'll let this guy dry and then we'll be back. 